Mikhail Bayarsky with a Kalumka La From La Fra. That sounds gangster right there. That beat though, I hear so much sample. I have so many tunes right songs right here that you probably wouldn't hear that you want to sample it. Is he like a really really good singer? Yeah, well yeah he's a singer. So he sounded like he could really give me something powerful, but I liked it. Hey, what's going on? This is Memory Lane Podcast, Struggle the Preacher, Dimmy D. Go ahead. You, you will also have to read it. Let's get that one. Okay, I want you to read it. It says Mikhail Bayarsky. Okay. Kalum, was it Kalumka La From La Fra? Okay. That sounds gangster right there. Yeah, it does. It's a hard joint. <laughs> okay, but usually I don't play videos, right? Mm -hmm. But for you, I'll play uh -huh. a video. Okay, so before I ask you anything, you just can tell me what you think. Yeah, I fuck with it. I, like I said, I like that bridge part. He sounded like he could really sing. He didn't. He didn't go too crazy or hit any any major notes, but he sounded like he got a voice though. That beat though, I had so much samples, I had so much shit that people would probably try to rap on. That's the point. I I, I said it in one of my previous episodes <laughs> that I have so many tunes, right, songs right here that you probably want to hear that you want to sample it. That shit, cause that shit sound like something that. Like Rock Marciano or Willie the Kid with rap over. Quad your poor slide off through a time warp. Been getting money before dinosaur. Told him everything you know from how to roll a blunt. To cook cocaine to break his glock down to pieces. Because you know, this new wave with the no, um, not a lot of heavy drums. So that's how they shit sound. It sound like that, a little melodic, and not really know too much bass. But yeah, that shit, I liked it. I, like I said, I wish I would have heard him, like, because he sound like he could, he could really, is he like a really, really good singer? Yeah, well, yeah, he's a singer. So he sound like he could really give me something powerful, but I liked it. When I was, like, younger, I would be ashamed of certain music that, you know, like, I would be ashamed to conf confess or to tell somebody that I that listen you to like it. That. <laughs> yeah, you know, but when you get older, you have, you go through different moods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go through different moods. Of course, you may not play it around your friends. Right, right. But when you go through something, you know, just like that's what you can relate to. And we all go through a lot of uh, melancholic stuff in our lives, a lot of melancholy, you know, just like mm -hmm. a sad stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, like you said, just like if you are a rapper, yeah, it's like, oh, I like that. It's still sad. You still take a piece it's of it, but you yeah. add bass, you know, groove and drums, and it sounds like, you know. Because it, even it's, because it, from what is, I don't know what he was talking about, but it, it's still like a story. It sounded like a story. What do you think, like, coming from the video? Because it's a, it's actually, it's, a, it's from the movie. So what do you think that he was, like, what, just like from what you have seen? I don't know, I'm really trying to put it together. Maybe that he let her down, he's apologizing, he's saying he'll never leave or he'll be there. For, that's the kind of vibe I was getting. Like, okay. did, he, did he let her down or some shit? Or he was professing his love for her? Yeah. Yeah? Pretty much. Did he make a mistake or? No, I mean, just like he just, yeah, just professing his love. Professing his love, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the kind of energy I got. She seemed a little, yeah. like she wasn't Different. really, yeah, she, she didn't seem like she was really buying it though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I think he's a bad dude here. So, yeah, he's kind of Okay, like, that's hey, the whole way. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Now but he's just like, at the same time, he's a bad dude with this, you know, like romantic approach. I'm feeling you. Yeah, you know how <laughs> girls, girls, girls usually like them, you know? Just like, yeah, you're a bad dude and it's like you have this romantic approach. You ain't never lie. You ain't never yeah. lie. Stay tuned for next episode. Shout out to Dimmy D. You already know.